under the team Transformative Unity, nurturing trust, your development, professionalism, and safety through competence and strategic partnership, the Guyana Police Force Annual Officers Conference got on the way this morning at Ivlery. Acting Commissioner of Police Clifton Hicken told the conference that the force has confronted internal challenges. Including recruitment and retention issues, officers' willingness, willingness concern, a need for greater diversity and inclusivity within our ranks. By fostering a culture of support, respect, and inclusivity, we can ensure that every member of our force feel valued, valued, empowered, and equipped to perform their duties with excellence and integrity. Nevertheless, we must remain vigilant, adaptable, and proactive in addressing these evolving challenges and safeguarding our communities from harm. Looking to the future, we have started to embrace innovation, collaboration, and continuous improvement to meet the evolving needs of law enforcement in the 21st century. Our projections are therefore to integrate technology in our policing methodologies through the adoption of advanced analytics, artificial intelligence, and predictive policing tools. President A. Finale delivered the feature address at the conference and he told officers that the government is developing a highly competent and professional police force with a focus on technological and human resource advancement. Further, the head of state also spoke about renewed emphasis on public engagements and community development. Now, when we speak about technology, we are not speaking about computer and a mouse and a keyboard. We are talking about 2030 technology being applied today. And we are already making those investments, the CCTV, the digitization, the, uh, the, the electronic ID card. All of these things are going to make policing uh, more innovative, uh, more efficient, but importantly, more accountable. Because as we move on the digital platform that we're moving aggressively on, every action will be accounted for because every action will have a level of traceability in the system. So whoever goes on the system, at whatever time, you would know. The system would, would pick you up, and the system would have that level of traceability. So we don't have to worry about files missing, uh, files uh, uh, left on a desk. So it brings accountability, it brings traceability, and it adds efficiency, productivity, and transparency to the system. So the digital platform, that we're already investing on and the type of digitization uh, will support us. Importantly though, and uh, we have to look at this together, all three branches of government, I think, must have a conversation on AI and where AI is going because AI would affect the judiciary, AI would affect, it's, a, it's already affecting the judiciary internationally, it would affect the executive, and of course, it would affect the legislature. The conference will continue tomorrow.